Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien at TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great week, folks. We'll be kicking into Labor Day, I mean Memorial Day. You gotta love it. Always do your best. Surrender and let go of the past. Whatever life takes away from you, let it go. When you surrender and let go of the past, you allow yourself to be fully alive in the moment. Letting go of the past means that you can enjoy the dream that is happening right here, right now. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials trading up 638. You get the NASDAQ up 174. S&Ps are up 71. That's a gain inside the NASDAQ of 1.4%, 2% in the Dow Industrials, and 1.7% in the S&P 500. Gold, gold contract up $13, traded at 1861 an ounce. We had silver up 14 cents, $21.82 an ounce. Light sweet crude, flat, $110.29 a barrel. Notes and bonds. The 10 year note trading down 19 ticks at 119.16. The 30 year off a full point plus 20 ticks at a price point of 140.05. And King Dollar, King Dollar's taking it on the chin out here. That's down uh, 1,051 ticks at 102,100. Euro is out here at 106. Yen is at 127.92, and the British pound is at 125 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, we got some divergence out here, folks. So this is going to get pretty wild watching this whole thing shake out. And if you're a bull, this is not what you did not want to happen. And this is why. Okay, so you take a look at the SPY first. We did with the SPY. You know, the B point on the SPY was this uh, 385.15. Okay? We needed 125 million shares. Bottom line, you got 131. You, you blew by it. Okay? Now you're on the other side of it. So that makes it a complex ABC structure. So what is a complex ABC structure? A complex is you come down, you break the B, you don't hold price. I mean, in this case, you go back above it. Then what ends up happening is that you normally go higher. You probably go back to the C point. You, go, you could go higher than the C point. And you're going up there with light volume. Then you come right back downtown again. And, you know, guess what? That's what we're doing out here today. Now, it's going to get intriguing for me out here today, and it should for you also, is to make sure that the SPY itself can at least close over the 397.03. It, it, it should be able to do that. Bottom line, if it doesn't do that, that's just really showing how weak this market is. So I expect what you're going to see here the rest of the week is that you're going to see a sideways to slightly higher movement, contraction of volume, and what that is, and that's the reason I, I says if you're a bull, you don't want to see this, is that you never like to see building cars at lows. Building cars at lows means that the market's just getting more energy up in order to make your le next leg lower. We go take a look at the uh, Qs. You're going to see the Qs did not, they, the Qs broke the low. The, the low of the B point out here was 284.94. We got down to 280. Bottom line, though, you only had 91 million shares versus the 120. So you're not, you know, it's not an ABC structure down. Bottom line with the Qs, you get the contraction of volume. More than likely, you get a little bounce, and that's going to go right back after this B point again. Gold. We take a look at the gold contract out here. What do you have with the gold contract? Gold contract's trading up $12.80. Gold still needs more volume. You're clearing price. You're definitely clearing price, but... You know, you get a roll that's happening simultaneously, but guess what? Gold needs more volume. Um, you know, we broke the downtrend. We broke the downtrend last Thursday. Last Thursday, uh, it was a nice sign of strength, no doubt. Gold went from that 1814 to 1854. You can see it's, it's a clearly defined break. And, you know, that's saying that now gold's going to make the run to 2009. And if we go over to King Dollar, and uh, King Dollar's spelling it out, man, in spades. Now, I'm going to bring King Dollar up on a longer basis so you can see how this shakes out. So King Dollar, first off, you know, it was, let me bring this up. Hold on one second. I'll bring this up so you can see the full consolidation. We've been in a consolidation for seven years. 
Man, it's quite a consolidation, man. You know, that's that's why, you know, it's interesting. People like to, to trade, you know, basically currencies because, you know, that uh, John Henry, the bottom line who bought the Red Sox, okay, he's a trend trader. Like if you're using, you know, Basil's is a trend trader in a big way. And if you were using something like that inside of, uh, well, inside the market, it was phenomenal too because we've been on a trend for so long. Um, but my point is, is that with the... The currency's trend quite a bit. And if you take this, you're going to see that the bottom line is that we've been in this consolidation going all the way back to 2015. Now, when you fail at highs, folks, what, well, here, let me just show you, okay? So the first high was established in 2017. Well, the first high was established in 2015. That high was at $100. You know, bottom line, pulls back. Where do we pull back to? You pull back to 91. Your next high was established. Now, this is the top of the trend was March, uh, January of 2017. You hit 103, 280, couldn't handle it, it was down to 89. Ran all the way back up, made 102, 92, couldn't handle it, ran, ran back down to 90. This time we broke it. You broke it, and when you break it, folks, and you can't hold it, it's a huge problem. So my take now, bottom line, it'll take a year, two years, whatever it is, 89 is the number on the way back down. So we'll see how this uh, shakes out. Now, just the opposite correlation, of course, is that if you're going to Europe this summer, man, go buy the euros right now because this is saying the euro, we're at 106, that's going to go start going up to 114, and you're going to see if we bring this back, do the same type of exercise on it, what you're going to see, there she is, you're going to see that, oh, this gets even more interesting, actually, because the euro didn't even break out as low. 103.52 is the low. We went, oh, no, hold on, 103. 10352, 10341. 10341 was the low. It went to 10350. Yeah. Missed it by nine ticks. Bottom line, that's saying that now the euro wants to go back to 125. So, and which, guess what? It totally makes sense, too. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. We have the Dow Industrials right now trading down, uh, trading up rather, 597. NASDAQ's up 146. SPs are up 65. We'll come right back.